Hello and welcome to our discussion on accounting. In this session, I would like to share with you an interesting doubt on cash flows, which is a very common question which has often been raised by students once you discuss the free cash flows for the firm. The student gave me this question that where the opening balance sheet and the closing balance sheet and income statements are given and wanted to find the free cash flows and then based on this free cash flow there was a question. So let us first find the free cash flows for the firm. Free cash flows for the firm is equal to PAT plus depreciation plus depreciation plus interest into 1 minus T interest into 1 minus T um, T is 80 percent uh, T is 20 percent uh, no changes in the working capital because we can see that the creditors have same the stock has same debtors 50 50 so therefore working capital is zero and there is also no change in the capex or there is no capex because the plant uh, gross value remains same no depreciation so the free cash flows for the firm is 18,000 here comes the question it says but where is the missing cash to, ex to, to strengthen his argument it says every year the debt holder is getting 10,000 the equity holder is getting 10,000 both in cash so the total free cash flow available for debt holder and the equity holder is 20,000 but the free cash flow calculated here shows 18,000 so where does this 2,000 disappear from the free cash flows we calculated by using that formula so this is a very common doubt in order to answer that let us find out the various complete cash flow first so cash flow statement will show all the cash flows so the sales is 72,500 we assume that entire sales is for cash because there is no change in the data similarly the entire purchases is considered to be the cost of goods sold because the stock was 25 and uh, so we can also show like this 25,000 plus 50,000 minus 25,000 is the purchases and entire purchase it for cash interest paid during the period 10,000 and tax paid during the period 2,500 and the dividend there is no res reserve so the entire dividend has been entire the entire pat has been distributed as dividend so the cash available is 25000 plus 72500 so 97500 and the cash outflow is 72500 so closing cash is 25000 which is given in the balance sheet so closing balance is 25,000 so free cash flow shows 18,000 and the closing cash is 25,000 cash inflow during the period is 72,000 let us see who has received what um, in order to see that so let us say the shareholders have received shareholders have received 10,000 as a dividend debt holders have received interest as 10,000 suppliers have received money for the goods supplied and the government have received 2,500 so actual cash flows during the period is 72,500 and what is this 72,500 is a money uh, realized from the sale of goods but is that free? no so this is the money available for all these debt holders and all these debt holders all these stakeholders and all these stakeholders receive this much of money but the concept of the free cash flows for the firm which was your question that first of all why should we compare 18,000 with 20,000 only 18,000 can be compared with entire 72,500 
So coming back to this 18,000, 18,000 is the free cash flow for the firm and the concept of the free cash flow for the firm assumes that there is no debt. So therefore assumes that I'm not paying interest, assumes that the benefits of the tax on the interest is not there. So therefore this 2000 which was your question, the question of 2000, 2000 is the tax benefits of interest and uh, which are we, which we are ignoring while computing or assuming that this is an unlevered firm. So free cash flows for the firm is not a, a gap number. So this is calculated with certain assumptions and assumption number one is that the firm is not levered. So therefore we are adding back interest into 1 minus T. So in this case the total cash inflow is 72,500, total cash available is 25,000 and total cash paid to the shareholder is 10,000, total cash paid to the debt holder is 10,000, total cash paid to the supplier is 50,000 and total cash paid is 2,500. One has to be careful when using the free cash flows for the firm. Thank you very much.